Hey, this is Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses, and you're watching GNR Central. Yeah! <laughs> Everybody, what's going on and welcome to GNR Central and I want to do a video about why Matt Sorum is missing in a lot of the scenes in the November Rain music video. Now this is a photo of Matt Sorum doing his best Carol King impression during the November Rain video. Now if you guys have seen the November Rain video, which I'm sure all of you have, and um, there, you'll notice there's a couple different things going on in the video. There's the live performance uh, that's taking place at the Orpheum Theater in Los Angeles. It was originally supposed to be Carnegie Hall, but it was changed for some reason, which I'm not sure about. And then there was also the wedding scenes that took place at the St. Brendan's Church in Los Angeles. And then there's also the wedding reception scenes that, you, that you'll see towards the later part of the video. There's also the funeral scenes. And then, of course, there's also the scenes that take place at the Rainbow Bar and Grill. But the only scenes we ever see Matt Sorum in is in the live performance scenes because, of course, they needed a drummer to play on the song. So why was Matt missing from such a large portion of the video? So here's him talking about that reason. Apparently he was struggling with drugs at the time and he was trying to kick his habit. Now if you guys have uh, read a lot of Matt Storm's stories or heard him doing, doing interviews, you'll know that you know he struggled, he struggled with drugs for a lot of his life, but I don't think his problem was to the point that it was with Steven Adler or some of the other members of Guns N' Roses. Yeah, the November Rain video, I wasn't in that much because I was trying to kick drugs. And um, I walked into the trailer, and I remember Billy Idol was there, and Duff, and all the guys. And I remember there being a big pile of cocaine. It looked something like that movie Scarface, you know? And I just fucking, I said, oh my God, you know, and I was trying to quit, which was very difficult when there was a big pile like that. And uh, I remember I went over to Andy and I said, Andy, I, I don't think I can make it to this video because there's just too many good drugs around. <laughs> it's either I go back on drugs or I don't do the video. So he said, well, maybe you should go home. So the wedding scene, when they're getting married, I'm not in. And then the wedding party, I'm not in. And after November Rain came out, I, I remember it being this huge video and kind of being a little bit bummed out that I wasn't able to make it through without, I didn't have a lot of willpower. It's really the problem, you know, I just, uh, but in retrospect, I wish I could have been in more of the scenes of the video. And it's a real shame that Matt Sorum is not featured more prominently in the video, considering he played a pretty big part in arranging at least the drum parts for the song and spent a lot of time on it as well. So. He told a story in a separate interview uh, about how they were recording the Use Your Illusion records and how he came up with the drum parts for November Rain with Axl Rose. He said, me and Axl were over there on the floor. We ordered some Russian caviar. We had a bottle of vodka and we sat there, me and Axl late at night, and we listened to Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me by Elton John. He was a big Elton fan. He loves Elton. We were eating this caviar and drinking shots of vodka and this big epic Tom Phil comes by. Axl goes, I want you to do something like that on November Rain. Axel told Sorum he wanted him to use it again in Don't Cry and Estranged as part of the trilogy. So in a separate interview, he, Sorum talked a bit more about the song. He said, we already worked on November Rain. We rehearsed it, but we hadn't recorded it yet. But we were getting ready to go and we sat there and Axel put on a song called Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me by Elton John. A lot of the people don't know this about Axel, but he's a huge Elton fan. And that's why he plays piano. I said, God, listen to the Tom Toms on that. So... Axel says, yeah, that's so cool, so epic. So Matt is basically the one who proposed the phrasing and the drum fills on the song. He said, I go, what if I sort of use, uh, what if I use that sort of a phrase as pieces of the song, almost like a melody that would work into the song structure? If you listen to November Rain, I go into that fill, and I do that fill about 20 times in the song. It's also a thread throughout Don't Cry and Estrange, which were originally all in one song. It's basically a trilogy of songs that all fits together, and people ask me, why do you use the same fill so much? Well, that was the whole thought process behind it. It was a way to basically tie them together. That was my part in tying enough songs together to make it one voice. He said, I worked on the arrangements for those songs, the way they broke down and the dynamics, and the band wasn't really that dynamic when I joined. It was a rock band, like, go for it. Just loud when we're on it, it's loud. And I came in from an orchestral upbringing and classical music. I was in wind ensemble. I sounded crazy to them. So that does it for today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed that. And be sure to subscribe if you love Guns N' Roses as much as I do. You can also go check us out on GNRCentral.com. Take care.